Good morning, Rebecca Romaine. How are you? Good morning. How are you? We're good. I'm fine. I heard you brought a guest. I brought a guest. Yeah, she, brought a yeah. guest. His name is Christian Kane. That's right. Hi, Christian Kane. Thank you so much for joining me here on the Founder BB Show, broadcasting live in Dallas, Texas, on the global platform. Well, thank you for and having you, me. Well, it's my pleasure. If I could start, I'm so excited about the librarians. If you don't mind, I'll start with Rebecca. Rebecca, you guys are back. We're back. Back for more. <laughs> back for more fun and adventure. I love it. I love it. What are you going to be doing this new back season? Well, the library has turned returned from the void, but it's not right. The rooms are rearranged. There are magic artifacts missing, and... Prospero from Shakespeare's The Tempest has conjured up these fictionals, these the worst villains to battle the librarians, and there's a huge storm coming, threatening to kill everyone in New York City. So the librarians have their work cut out for them. They've got to battle these fictional characters, including uh, the Red Queen from Alice in the Looking Glass, uh, Frankenstein, James Moriarty from Sherlock Holmes, and um, it's... Uh, Laugh a minute. We're having we had a blast this season. <laughs> yeah, Christian, what are you doing? Oh man, I'm just uh, I'm just trying to be I'm just trying not to get in trouble because when J when Jake Stone gets in trouble, then Eve Baird, Rebecca's character, has to slap him into place. <laughs> and so you know we're all. It's funny though because last year, last season, we all had we were trying to find these characters. We're trying to fit into the skin, you know, uh, not only us but the but the characters themselves. And now it seems like we sort of we we we've, we've gotten to know each other. We've gotten to know ourselves, and we've accepted that magic is real. So it's funny because last year we were kind of walking around with our heads cut off, and this year we kind of be have become a fire team, which is really and a, and a family and a family. Exactly. We've become a family. Yeah, which which you see a lot this season. You see a lot of uh, my in depth into my background. Uh, you you know Lindy. We sort of found out last year. Uh, you know so it's uh so it, it's it's funny because we're all starting to uh, to to. To realize that this these this is all we got, you know what I mean? We're 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 a team and we're a family, and uh, I think it actually comes out of the screen that way too. It's just fun. Well, it's coming out as an enthusiasm in you. You're just like loving your job. <laughs> listen, I'm on two cups of coffee and I'm having a. Listen, we're in Hollywood, man. I get to work with the lovely, beautiful Rebecca Romaine. I get to, you know, it's a cast with John Larroquette's on the show, Noah Wiley. I'm, I'm surrounded by really talented people. So as an actor, you, uh, that's what you want and that's what I'm getting. We're very excited about season two. We loved our first season and we think we really stepped it up for season two. Yeah. I think season two is even more solid than season one was. And we, as a cast, have so much fun together, and we like to think that that's why audiences tune in, that they get to be a part of the fun. And, and you know, we're a solid, fun fantasy adventure show that families can watch on Sunday evenings together, and we're really proud of it. Yeah. Well, it's a great show. I love anything that brings people back to the library. I'm not kidding you. I'm a kid of the bookmobile. Yes. So, this is, so you know, being set in the library is so exciting to me. You guys had some uh, uh, people who got the show started, I'll say, uh, like, I think Bob Newhart and Jane Curtin, if I'm correct. Yeah. Are they still a part of this, or you've moved on? We've sort of moved on. You know, the series, while it's connected to the first three librarian movies that Noah Wiley starred in, uh, the series sort of branched off into a franchise on its own. Mm. So the Jenkins character, uh, the Judson character, played by the great Bob Newhart, has now sort of been replaced by John Larroquette's character, Jenkins, um, because we're now in the library annex. So we're sort of, the series does stand alone from the from the movies. Yeah, and we, we still haven't forgotten who got us there. I mean, uh, their, uh, their characters, uh, Jane and Bob Newhart's characters, are talked about through the series. So so they, they are there in spirit, which, yes. is, uh, which is very nice for us, because we like to especially feed off that kind of talent. A little gone, certainly not forgotten. Absolutely. Well, and that's a lot to live up to, as you said, the great Bob Newhart, yeah. The, yeah. you know, the ever-present Jane Curtin. So that's yeah. a lot to live up to. Well, but we, hired, guys... we hired John Larroquette to do it, so we're doing pretty good. Yeah, John Larroquette's doing a pretty good job holding his own. Yeah. Uh, you did. Let me ask you, what is the best thing about the librarian, if each of you will tell me? About the, about the library or the librarian? The, 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 the librarian. Uh, well, you know, listen. I, I, I'll, I'll just speak for me. She's the guardian. She's the one with all the little puppies running around. She has to herd us back in together. She watches. Those out for librarians us and, can't guard themselves. No, and so she's got to guard us. She's got to make sure that we're all right. <laughs> for me, being a librarian, it's like you know, there's a couple of roles that you love as a kid that, that made me want to become an actor, and and one of them very high on the list was Indiana Jones, and uh, and that's kind of where my character gets to go. And so uh, to be able to uh, to sort of like walk in and more of a comedic path or footsteps of uh, of Indiana Jones, Harrison Ford in, is is, uh, is something that's, that I've always wanted to do, and it's an honor for me. So to be able to play that character, it's a lot of fun for me. 
Rebecca, wrap us up. What's the best thing about The Librarian? It's, you know, it's a, it's a genre show, and I love working in genre, and sci-fi genre. Obviously, I, I come from the X-Men world, which is a superhero franchise, and we are not superheroes. We're normal people who happen to be highly skilled. But the fact that we get to do, like Christian said, this action-adventure sort of Indiana Jones uh, type of, of, of show, it's combined with the comedy, that's the best part about it. Yeah. We really, we don't take ourselves too seriously. We have so much fun, and it's really, it's a dream. Well, we're going to have fun watching you guys, and I'm going to continue to watch you on the Game Show Network Body Painting Yay! Competition Series Skin Wars. That's I think great. I like that one. Great. You guys, thank you so much. And when, when do you want us to watch The Librarian? 8 p.m. Sunday nights, TNT. All we, right. two-hour premiere is November 1st, yeah. two hours I'll Sunday. I'll be glued to the set because of you, too. Thank you so much for gracing the Valder BB Show. I truly appreciate it. Thank you, Valder. Thanks for having us.